Hello. One of the issues you'll frequently face in writing your own code is dealing with the difference between trades in the buy or sell direction. Uh, what I'm showing here is an example of some typical code that you might have. Uh, here I've got a simple function that calculates a stop loss price uh, given an order type, a starting price and the amount of the stop loss. And You can see I've got the typical uh, condition here depending on the order type whether it's a buy then I calculate stop loss price with a negative and if it's a otherwise I'll calculate with a positive um, and I've also included a similar function here where I'm calculating the amount of the stop loss uh, given the open price and the stop loss price mainly to demonstrate the difference in this case I simply reverse the sign when dealing with buy and sell whereas for this case I have to reverse the direction of the calculation. Uh, that will become relevant as we look at the helper functions that I have here. So to avoid this problem and clean up the code I use a number of helper functions and here is the same get stop loss price function calculated in a single line using my helper function sub and the get stop loss value function again using one of the helper functions. So let's have a look at the functions, what they do. So the key function is the MULT function which will calculate a multiplier being 1 or minus 1 depending if the trade is a buy or a sell. It's a simple function. If the order type is in a buy then I calculate positive 1 otherwise a negative one. Uh, if you really want to play around with math you can also run this function uh, but I find this is much better for readability. So now once that function's in place two of the key things you'll want to consider uh, the opening price and the closing price. So for a buy function you'll always be calculating the opening price as the ask and for sell the opening price is bid and of course when you're closing you have to close the buy trades at bid and the sell trades at ask. Um, so again these two functions avoid having conditions within your code you can simply call the open price passing in the symbol and the order type. Now some of the comparisons uh, and you'll have seen throughout your code many times that in trying to determine whether one price is better or worse than another price you have to reverse the uh, the calculation depending whether you're using buy or sell. These functions greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal uh, will take care of that for you. Um, now you can read this, the greater than function will return true if value 1 is greater than value 2 based on the order type. These functions allow you to think of everything as a positive direction trade. So in a sell trade V1 is a greater than V2 if it's actually a lower price. Uh, the similar logic flows through to the greater than or equal, less than and less than or equal. And you can see that they use the earlier MULT function. So those are the comparison functions and then of course when we want to add numbers. So if we wanted to calculate how to take profit price uh, we would take the opening price and amount of take profit and an order type. It's fairly simple. If it's a buy it's simply opening price plus take profit but for a sell we want to reverse that. So this add function again allows us to treat everything as the positive direction of the trade as in positive being making a profit uh, and returns the correct value. Uh, then of course we have the subtract function. It does the same thing in the opposite direction. Now we also have a diff function. The sub function is good for calculating the stop loss price for example given an amount of stop loss but you can't use the same function to determine the amount of pips lost in going to the stop loss price uh, and that's where I showed earlier here the stop loss value is actually a slightly different calculation to the stop loss price and the diff function is that second calculation given two values it will calculate the difference between them based on the order type direction. So these helper functions I use them all the time they're very useful uh, for keeping my code clean. Clean code is easier to read uh, and it's easier to write and it avoids 
the frequent mistakes that people might make uh, in simply getting a sign incorrect or using the wrong price for an open or a close. Now I also have in case you're only working with the on chart symbol you'll remember the open price used a symbol but if you're just working with the on chart symbol I have an open uh, overrides for the open and close functions that will by default use the current chart symbol. So I hope you'll find these useful. Uh, there is a link at the bottom of the video or in the comments of the video that will show you where you can go to a page where I've actually loaded this and you can download these functions and include them in your own utility functions if you find them useful. I hope you do find them useful. Please leave comments. Uh, and I'll be back again soon with some more helpful hints. Thank you.